Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. If you enjoy the content, subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. This is going to be a preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus the Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins as the Phantoms look to bounce back after a rough three to one loss yesterday that the defense really didn't have any answers. Put Hartford on too many power plays, put Sandstrom in a bad position. He did everything he could, and then they were just not able to get over the hump and do enough in front of him. So they look to bounce back today as they play the Penguins, who of course they lost to because of a great game by Lindbergh last week, and then lost to Hershey because of a great game by Fukali. So if they push the pace and play with the ability and the oomph that they did last weekend, and not the oomph that they played with last night, or really lack of, then this team will be in good shape and be in a good position to obviously play and get their first win at home against this Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins team that's starting the season well at 2-1 and one and of course already beat our Phantoms as I just said because Lindbergh coming in and playing his first game played like a bat out of hell and did absolutely ridiculous which was a kudos to him for that and that wasn't a bad game in that either when it came to Felix Sandstrom so there was very good things um, when it came to last week. Sandstrom and Ursan both had good games, and then Sandstrom backed it up with a great game, obviously, when he came to last night, and then the team was just not able to pick it up in front of him. So hopefully the team's able to pick it up. I would have to imagine a back-to-back -back and how many shots he got. I haven't been able to find anything on Twitter, but it would be Samuel Ursan today, and he would be the guy between the pipes. So... I think, obviously, he'll be able to have a good game again. He looked good last week, so I don't see any reason why to think he's not going to be able to have a good game for the Phantoms again and be able to perform at a high level coming over from Sweden since he already did so against a good Hershey Bears team in his first outing. So the key today is just going to be, I mean, it's simple. From watching last night's game, it's pretty obvious what the key is. Play more more concise in front of your goaltender, play more together as a full unit, and play more from obviously through the defense to the offense, which of course Lappy preaches, so he can't be happy about last night's game. You put the team on the power play too much, which allows you to have less high-octane chances yourself, and allows you to be almost doubled up on shots as such as they were last night. So you can't be doing that today. You got to bounce back. You got to be strong in this game, and you have to have a good outing to really be able to put a nice home win on your belt to start this season and not start off at 0-4 as we play that same Penguins team in Wilkes-Barre on Wednesday. So you want to be able to get the win at home, have some momentum to carry into the away game on Wednesday against this Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins team. So obviously... The key players to watch for our Phantoms would be Max Willman, Morgan Frost. Willman's back down, was able to pop the goal yesterday. Would be Ursan, unless if they do somehow go with Sandstrom in this back-to-back. -back. And then also, um, I always like Logan Day on defense, and then Adam Glendening's a great veteran. So I'll throw them in there as a player to watch. But somebody, obviously, when it comes to scoring, if you want to get the scoring touch going and the scoring touch turning, that would be Jerry Mahew who I think is going to have to have a good game today in order to generate the offense and get going with Frost and also, of course, with Willman and others when it comes to Tyson Forster as well, who got stopped on some really nice stops last night, which is nothing that he could do about that. But you need to have a good, better offensive push, a better play in front of your goaltender, play as a concise unit from running from the defense to the offense and allowing that to generate offensive play, which it seems is what Lappy wants to do. The Phantoms are not able to do that at all as they hung their goaltender out to dry yesterday, and Sandstrom was really able to just bail them out until he if he made that save on Brzezinski, that would have been absolutely ridiculous. Just couldn't do anything about it. So this is a game. Bounce back. Play a good, concise game in front of your goaltender. Obviously, the offense needs to get going. So this is a game I would like to see. Like I said, the Mayhews of the world really get going. Frost had, obviously, that nice play in the neutral zone. And then Wilman was able to get the goal. So you look to see those guys get going. Obviously, you want to throw uh, Forster into that grouping as well. So these are guys you really want to see pick up the ante on offense, and get going for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. When it comes to, obviously, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, you got to watch Bell Reeve. you got to watch, obviously, Begris is on that team now, a very solid AHL defenseman. Almari's a very solid defenseman. Uh, Chaput's a very solid forward. 
Bjorkqvist is a very solid winger that you really have to watch. Has a good shot and good passing ability. Hollander is a very solid winger. So there's guys to watch down below here. Obviously, Samuel Poulin's a player you have to watch all the time. Same with Pustinen. So those are the guys that would really be the players to watch. When it comes to Lindbergh or Napier, uh, they're both very good netminders. I would have to imagine they would go with the Rook again since he had such a good game in his first game. But we'll have to see what shapes out. But again... The keys are just play a more concise game, bounce back, don't hang your goaltender out to dry, play good from the defense to the offense, and then let's get this offense going and let's get this first win, Phantom. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's beat those Wilkesbury screen and Penguins on NHL Network, by the way, for people that don't know. So a national audience is going to get to see the PPL Center again after seeing it, of course, on the game that was on between the USA and Canada's woman teams. A so peace out, everybody. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's get that first win of the season today. Peace.